right, so today we are going to talk about SI joint pain um, and ways to mobilize and alleviate it. The interesting thing about this is, is this has actually come up quite a bit um, here recently. I was just at a factory in town and was amazed at how many people couldn't bend over and touch their toes, how many people couldn't get into a proper squat. Uh, goodness, what else was it? Nobody could do a lunge because their legs are so weak and they couldn't do that stuff. So, SI joint pain, the sacrum, uh oh, I need to go grab the, I need to go grab the spine, but the sacrum sits in between the two ilia and the sacrum is kind of a triangular bone and the two ilia overlap and then they move and they rotate around the axis. Let me grab the spine real quick. So, when we look, this is the sacrum and then this is one ilium and this is the other ilium. The interesting thing about this joint is the bottom of it is like the symphysis pubis. It's a syndesmotic joint and it's pretty much locked into place. The top of it is a synovial joint. It's one of the few places in the body, maybe the only place in the body, that one joint contains both types of, of joints. So it's really hard to actually displace this. Now, if you've had an accident, um, you've crushed it, or have done something of that nature, then yes, you can do this. But the way to mobilize this joint, besides being adjusted, because we can put you a side posture, get in here and adjust it. We can lay you on the table, adjust it that way. There are a bunch of different ways to adjust and mobilize this. But to help you um, do it, we'll go over those here in just a second. This will affect an awful lot of um, organs. It affects the sex organs, so ovaries, testes, um, uterus, all of that comes from the pelvic splanchnic nerves. And it can also, the top part of it can also influence parts of the sciatic nerve. And when this doesn't move, you get this, you know, it's like point pain back in the back and it just, it really sucks. I, I had a lot of SI joint pain after I flipped my bicycle last year uh, on the sidewalk. I was doing wheelies and fail. So, so when we first thing we want to do, start to do is we want to mobilize the joint. And so as I was discussing in an earlier video, you know, get to a wall if you can do a proper squat. So first things first, remember feet just a little bit wider than hips, toes pointed out, and when you go down, you want to go down through the heels and back up through the heels. So you need to be able to do that. If you can't do that, then you get here on the wall and you squat down and then you sit. Notice I'm past 90 degrees. Keep the back straight and then move in and out. So as you move back and forth and in and out, that is actually making the SI joint articulate. And you'll feel it pop sometimes, you might not, it just is what it is, it depends on how you are. If it pops and mobilizes, not a big deal. Now, you can also go in, if you wanna do core work on top of this. If you don't wanna do core work, sit down, put both hands between the knees, and squeeze and hold for a couple of seconds and then relax and you'll feel that in here rest a couple seconds do it again and then relax and you will feel that like I said open up uh, do that five six seven times and try to do it two or three times so say do a set of six and three times so you're going to do 18 reps or so then, if you want to add some core work into it, lay on your back, bring your knees up, keep your legs, try to do a 90-90, and then you do it this way. And then you relax. 
So after you've done that a few times, then you can go to one hand and relax. Next thing, grab a knee, push the hand, and resist. So you're going to push with this way and resist, and you're going to push with this way, and you're just going to resist that. Once again, you're articulating the hips. You're putting motion into there. You're putting heat, kinetic energy into it. Once again, hold it for a few seconds, relax, switch. Hold it for a few seconds, relax, switch. Do that several times. Now, let's see, mobilization that way, mobilization that way. Uh, if you have any more questions about that, that'll just get, your, get the ball rolling. But if it continues to hurt, get x-rays, get it mobilized, because that's honestly the easiest way to do it. And then you do strengthening exercises, especially in the core, to hold it. So that's been the Miller Minute. Meg Warren did that suggestion, and that's who picked it up. Uh, I'm not going to Canada to do lunch. <laughs> Have a good one.